Well, hello and welcome to day 43 of our fall pursuit. I hope as you're pursuing God in this season, you find yourself closer to Him than you've been before, but also further away from certain things in your life that you need to distance yourselves from. Well, today I want to talk to you about differences, how people differ one from another, and then how we handle those differences. To do that, I'm going to take you all the way back to the beginning of the Bible, to Genesis chapter 5, 4, Genesis chapter 4. So we talk about Lamech. Lamech was the first guy to have more than one wife. This is his story and the story of his sons. It says, Lamech took to himself two wives. The name of one was Adah, the name of the other was Zillah. Adah gave birth to Jabel, and he was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. Right? His brother's name was Jubal, and he was the father of all those who play the lyre and the pipe. As for Zillah, she also gave birth to Tubal Cain, the forger of all implements of bronze and iron. So I want you to consider these are uh, two natural brothers and one half brother. So one of them was uh, a guy that lived in, in inside of a tent. He loved livestock. He was always hanging with the animals, right, raising the herds and everything. Another guy was called a, probably more genteel. He he was a musician. He loved playing the harp and the lyre and all all the pipes and everything. He, that's the kind of guy he was. Then the other guy, he was like a smith, right? He was pounding iron and steel, kind of a, more of a rough guy probably. Those three guys are really interesting because they kind of represent the different kinds of people that are around us all the time. Sometimes what happens is God puts us in a relationship with people that are so different from us. We need to learn how to love each other. We need to not just to love each other like I love you because you're a brother in Christ, but also to appreciate the gifting of one another. So today, as you pursue God during these 92 days, I'm going to want you to consider one of the things we talked about was partnering, right? We need to partner with one another during this season of time. I'm going to have you consider someone in your life today, right now, that you have difficulty with. Ugh, I know they're, they're a Christian, but you know, they just rub me the wrong way. Then I'm going to ask that you would pray for that person. Pray for them right now, and then pray for yourself, that you would be able to appreciate who God made them to be. Don't worry about their flaws. Don't judge them. Just begin to pray for them. So I'm going to pray today for unity in the body of Christ. There's something, how good and how pleasant it is when brothers dwell together in unity. It's like that beautiful oil coming down upon Aaron's head, coming down and dripping upon the fringes of his robes. That's what the Bible says in Psalms 133. So let's pray together right now for unity. Father, thank you for making us as different as, as we could possibly be for one another. Like snowflakes, we're all very unique. But I would pray today for that one person, maybe those couple people in our lives that we just struggle with. Just their personalities rub us the wrong way. Lord, would you change us to appreciate them? And then Lord, if there's things you need to change in them, go ahead and do that. But Lord, we want to consider right now us. During these 92 days of pursuing you, Lord, I pray that we will pursue you to the place where everything that doesn't look like Jesus would drop off of us and everything that needs to look like, look like Jesus begins being your reflection in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a tremendous day.